Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're doing well. I'm Ashish back with AC Techno Freak, and in today's video, I probably got one of the most anticipated phone of 2022 that's the new iPhone 14 series. So, I will also be guiding you on which iPhone is the best one for you and which one you should be buying. But in today's video, I have got the unboxing and some of the additional accessories that I got for the iPhone 14 Pro. So, the particular model that I got was the iPhone 14 Pro Deep Purple 256 gigs model. So, we'll be unboxing this product and see like some of the specs and I am also planning to make a detailed video on the iPhone 14 Pro. I am also planning to make a comparison video of the iPhone 14 Pro and the S22 Ultra which I have been using for past 6 months. So I will be giving you my honest opinion of which phone you should be buying in 2022 which is gonna be the best value for your money that you invest in. I was initially planning to get the iPhone 14 Pro Max but as it was sold out everywhere i couldn't get my hands on it so i had to settle down with the regular iphone 14 pro but if you want to be seeing that video of the iphone 14 pro max and the comparison with the s22 ultra then do give this video a thumbs up so that i can make that video for you guys but for today i have got the iphone 14 pro so we'll be unboxing this and take like a couple of shots from the camera because that's the main area where it has got the massive change and also we will be talking about that new notch that this iphone 14 has which is called the dynamic island and we'll see that in action on how it actually works so let's quickly go ahead and unbox our brand new apple iphone 14 pro all right so here is the bag that it comes in as you have seen in my previous video where i purchased this here in sydney australia so if you haven't checked that video yet i'll link it up here so that you can check it out of buying process of iphone here in sydney australia so let's quickly go ahead and see what we have got inside So there we go. So I also picked up additional cases. So this one is leather case and silicon case. And these are from Apple themselves. And here is our iPhone that's gonna be the deep purple. So I'll just leave that aside for now. And here is your new iPhone. So by the box you can see it's completely a uh, new kind of packaging design because they used to have like black box uh, previously but now it's all white and as you can see that's the big notch that's the change in the iphone 14 pro so as i've already told you previously if you're thinking of buying the iphone 14 i wouldn't suggest you to even look at the regular iphone 14 because it's the same old iphone with like slight bump in specs and same old notch so that's like ridiculous that apple is releasing that kind of product in 2022 and expecting people to buy that iphone and as per the pre-orders we can see that people are like completely ditching out the regular iphone 14 for the iphone 14 pro so it's not even worth considering to buy so if you are planning to get the iphone 14 better stick with the iphone 14 pro or the iphone 14 pro max so this is my second iphone that i'm getting the first one was iphone 3gs which i used like seven or eight years back i don't remember but uh, back then you were not even able to change the wallpapers then so that was the first and the main reason that pulled me towards buying an android smartphone so let's quickly go ahead and open up our iphone 14 pro and one on the bottom and there we go Ooh. look at that color deep purple really beautiful so I never had that experience of unboxing an iPhone like the old one they were like nice and thick but now it comes without the charger it just comes with the USB-C cable so there we go deep purple the new color and on the side as well all purple and shiny and as you can see it is already picking up fingerprints so i'll just leave that aside and let's see what else is in the box so this one is your lightning to usb c so i don't know what is wrong with apple i would be glad if they switch to usb type c but i don't think they're gonna do it either they would go usb type c next year or they would go completely portless but going completely portless doesn't make sense because if you are trying to transfer data or 
fast charge your device then wireless charging is not on that level that it's gonna supercharge your iPhone at the moment so I don't know how they are gonna do it but I'm hoping that they come up with USB type-c next year that's gonna be 100% sure but lightning is gonna be gone by next year so I'm really excited for the iPhone 15 to be honest rather than this uh, same design other than the notch hopefully they will ditch out the lightning for the USB-C and here's your sim injection tool so if you are currently living in US you only have the option to buy the eSIM iPhone so the sim card tray is all done I don't know how that thing is gonna work out because if you are planning to travel somewhere and you need to get regular sim and use it with your iPhone 14 then you wouldn't be able to do that if you bought your iPhone from US so the sim tray is gone in US but other than that most of the countries they still have the sim tray and your usual manuals and your familiar Apple stickers so that's all for what you get in the box and if you want to get the fast charging or the regular charging you would need the brick which you have to buy separately so they are saying that they are doing it for the environment but I don't know why if you are buying an additional charger it creates additional boxes anyways so I don't know how that thing works out and here is your iPhone 14 Pro so the camera is really big on this phone it's even bigger than the last year as you can see and I was planning to initially get the uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max but it was already sold out so I had to pick up the regular iPhone 14 Pro and this one is the 256 gigs model and all of these specs is gonna be in your screen you can have a look so just the main key features it uh, has got the brand new a16 bionic chip which is really really powerful and power efficient and there are like tons of videos where uh, they show the true potential of this iPhone it's really powerful don't get me wrong but in 2022 having a design like this one when you have a phone like s22 ultra or android smartphone coming up with so much of better looking screens I don't think I would be appreciating this kind of design in 2022. They would be able to do it like change the design and make it much more better but it's Apple way. They don't want to be ditching out their old design completely. They take time but sooner or later we'll get into a design where we don't have a notch at all. So hopefully that will be sooner than later. So let's peel this iPhone and see the square. Oh there we go. So that's your iPhone 14. On the bottom you have got the speaker grills, lightning port. On the side you have got your power button. On the top nothing there. On the side you have got this uh, mute button, volume up and down and your SIM tray. So SIM tray is here in Australia and most of the countries but in US you don't have a SIM tray. So let me power this thing for the first time. There we go. So as you can see the notch here so it's covering most of the part and to be honest like if I'm not wrong when I use the iPhone 14 Pro Max because of that bigger screen uh, the notch tends to like feel a little bit smaller so the notch the size of the notch on this one and iPhone 14 Pro Max is the same but because of the smaller display it's gonna be much more visible like whenever you are interacting with your display than the iPhone 14 Pro Max so if you are like a person who doesn't feel good with the notch i would suggest you to have a look at the iphone 14 pro max so that uh, the bigger screen helps you out to at least not see the notch even if it's there but it's gonna be impacting whenever you are trying to consume any media on your phone and also with the back cameras so the camera sizes is kind of similar on this one and the iphone 14 pro max but just because of the bigger form factor of the iphone 14 pro max uh, the camera is gonna look like flush with the iPhone 14 Pro Max if that makes sense because of that bigger back body as this iPhone 14 Pro is a little bit smaller this camera hump looks kind of weird on this small form factor so I'll show you in the video how the both of the camera compares but this one is a little bit bigger for the iPhone 14 Pro English let's set this thing up Australia 
uh, set up manually so activating your iphone so i'm a kind of person who likes bigger phones so even my old galaxy note 9 is way bigger than the iphone 14 pro and even with the iphone 14 pro max uh, this phone is massive but because of that curved screen on this note 9 uh, it tends to feel like it's a smaller phone same with the s22 ultra we'll be doing a detailed comparison of the iphone 14 pro with the s22 ultra and if i can get my hands on the iphone 14 pro max i will also be comparing the pro max with the s22 ultra so do subscribe so that you don't miss out on those videos which will be coming in the days to come so that's for the size comparison as you can see so even my note 9 feels a lot more bigger just for using your phone on a regular day-to-day -day basis making phone calls this should be fine but for me i usually consume most of the media on the phone so i would love to have a bigger phone so here we go continue so face id i'll just set that up get started so just moving your head and face id complete set up later don't use terms and conditions agree continue not now enable location services so set up mobile i think that one is for the eSIM. so skip now set up later so i'll just put the dark mode on so display zoom continue continue and there we go welcome to iphone so swipe to get started and there we go our brand new iphone 14 pro so i don't know the color looks really really good on this one and i'm so used to using the menu in the android smartphone i think that's not here and let me quickly see the always on display so there we go that's your always on display which has been in the android for i don't even remember like five or six years now and now finally we have that with the iphone so if i tap it's gonna open up so let's check our face id there we go yep the face id is like really quick there we go so that's your iphone 14 pro and you're always on display so it's a lot brighter than the android uh like the colors on the outside with the android it tends to have uh just the uh, notification but this one the entire screen is like illuminated but it's a little bit on the darker side so i don't know how that is gonna impact the battery but like with the iphone the battery life is always the best so hopefully this is not gonna drain that much of the battery so i don't even have to like press the power button so if it's sitting here i just pick up the phone and it unlocks and let me check the wobble from the back so that's gonna be problematic like if you're using your phone like this on the desk it's gonna wobble a lot let's quickly go ahead and see that dynamic allen and how this thing actually works so for example if i go into timer over here so 15 minutes so once i back out of it as you can see it's gonna come on the top so that's like basically you will be interacting with this time and again so if i go out it's gonna come up as notification so that's a really good integration of the uh, notch and trying to hide it and just making some use out of that notch so my only concern is gonna be there is like camera on this side so if i'll be constantly touching this one uh, I'll leave all the fingerprint marks on my screen so that thing will prevent me from using this feature but if it's on the side that should be fine but here if I'm touching on the camera it will be full of fingerprints all over the camera you don't want to be touching the camera side so better go on the side so that you don't have fingerprints on your camera so that's all for the unboxing of the brand new iPhone 14 Pro and Let's quickly go ahead and unbox the cases as well, the official cases. That's your first case. Let me see the silicon case first. There we go. So that's your silicon case. 
and for the pricing i paid like 70 australian dollars for each of the cases so 70 dollars for a case apple i don't know what's wrong with you guys but 70 dollars is a lot of money just for the case so if you're buying it from third party it's gonna be so much more cheaper but if you're buying it from apple it's gonna be expensive so be ready to pay so much more money if you're buying it off apple so that's your silicon case i think that's maxif compatible and nice texture uh, I think this one is kind of velvet inside so that it doesn't scratch your phone and it's your silicon purple case so let me put this thing on so there we go looks nice kind of dark purple rather than just the regular purple and it tends to uh, hide that camera bump it is still wobbles but it's a lot less than just using your phone on its own and it has got like slight raised uh, cover case so that it will prevent your phone from like scratching when you place it like this so It is still wobbles, but it's not like that much significant than using your um, Phone just without the case. So that's your silicon case feels nice and soft on the hands And it's not gonna be slipping away as if you are using your phone on its own with that glass back So let me try this leather case So there we go your leather case from Apple so use your manual feels nice like pure leather or something and you have also got this metallic buttons on the sides there we go and your cutouts for all of the ports and the buttons and same textured design inside so let me put this thing on there we go so this is how it looks with the leather case I think I like this one better than this but the color is gonna put it off as you can see it's purple inside and brown on the outside but looks really nice it's same as my matte color on the bottom so desktop matte if you want to pick this one up i'll throw the link in the description as well so it's pure leather and you can also switch this on both sides if you are using it uh, for your desktop whenever you're using your laptop or your desktop so really nice and it is going to prevent your laptop from sliding around on your table or you can use this also as a mouse pad so both of the things you can do it at the same time so i'll throw the link in the description for this mat if you want to pick it up so that's your iphone and your silicon and the leather case for your iphone 14 pro so i'll also try to find the uh, cheaper version like that's kind of similar to this pressure option from apple i wouldn't suggest you to invest this much on any case it's like ridiculously expensive but if i find like something cheaper the link will be in the description for you guys to check it out so that's your iPhone cases and your iPhone 14 Pro. So this is just the video recording test on the new iPhone 14 Pro and I'm just shooting my video on the camera slider so this is how it looks and this is the front facing camera on the new iPhone 14 Pro there is like some wind noises let me know how it looks and here is the cinematic mode on the new iPhone it is blurring the background really well so I'll just move the camera around let me know how it looks so cinematic mode shooting on the new iPhone 14 Pro and here is the cinematic mode of the product so no faces this time around and it's blurring the background pretty well so I'm just moving around let me know how it looks so it's blurring out the background really well. So here is my camera. 
and it's trying to focus on the camera and it's doing a pretty good job I can see this part is slightly blurry now there we go it's on focus again so cinematic mode on the iPhone 14 So as you guys saw in the video with some camera samples of the iPhone 14 Pro, this is a really good smartphone. And with that upgraded 48 megapixel sensor, you can take really stunning pictures as well as video from the iPhone 14 Pro. And I'm also planning to make a detailed comparison video of the brand new iPhone 14 Pro series with the S22 Ultra, even though it's like somewhat different, but I'm gonna try to get my hands on the iPhone 14 Pro Max so that it's a fair comparison between these two. But for camera, it's the same on the iPhone 14 Pro as well as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So we'll see if I can get my hands on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, then the comparison is gonna be between the Pro Max and the S22 Ultra. But if not, I'm gonna be comparing these two smartphones. So I'm also planning to make a digital review video of the iPhone 14 Pro series and should you consider it buying in 2022 or wait for the next year's iPhone 15 series. And there are certain things that I don't like about the iPhone 14 series which I'm gonna leave for the next video. And I guess that's it for today's video. So if you enjoy the content do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot and encourages me to keep making these kinds of videos for you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then have a good one and peace out.